Jeff. Yes. Terrence. Fire. Frakes. Number three. And Maho. Keep me for my bungo. Kid's been whacking off in my shed. Whacking. <laughs> Grew up on beat with some butthead. <laughs> whacking. Whacking off in my tool shed. You boys look like a lot of H in that. that. Whack. Whacking off in my tool shed. <laughs> boys are just whacking off like a bunch of spider monkeys. <laughs> my balls itch. Your balls itch? Is that what you just My eyeballs itch. Oh, okay. My eyes so, blinking yes. profusely. She did say her balls itch. Yes, Is my balls, my balls, the balls of my eyes. To the optical orbs. <laughs> oh. It's a bad middle picture of somebody who had balls for eyes. <laughs> I don't know why I like it. I'll just say that phrase sometimes. Balls for eyes? No, like just my balls, my balls, the balls of my eyes. I don't know why that, <laughs> that comes out of my mouth sometimes, but it does. Okay. And it's, yeah. My balls All right, is. so... <laughs> Uh, it's, it's almost midnight, so let's let's go ahead and dip right back into where we were. Uh, Zarius, after bas- after determining that the crack <laughs> in the cliff face was in fact an illusion, you decided to just go for the gusto, dive through it, and see what was on the other side. You did, and Yay. thanks to thanks to your pretty high percentile roll, you did not land slap <clears throat> face first into the <clears throat> into the greater elemental that is guarding this. I did. <laughs> cavern opening you landed nearby it which you know kind of pissed it off <laughs> so let me just go ahead and get my initiative paper out uh. <laughs> uh, elemental's guys- really good against mind control huh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah can't really well, elemental are they mindless no they have brains oh. and everything are they immune to mind affecting stuff? They are not. Oh, I thought they were. They are not in the slightest. I know constructs are. They, they might be immune to anything that says uh, blah, blah, blah person, but. Mm. What do you mean, blah, blah, blah person? You know, like hmm, charm like person. charm person. Oh, okay. Large person. Gotcha, you know, gotcha, gotcha. Got they, they fall under monster. So this. Uh, let's see. This is one of my favorite dye because it looks like it was dipped in blood. Yeah, blood. that's just really neat. Rolls like shit every time. <laughs> you know Someone why? melted a red crayon on it. I was going to say uh, maybe it's a uh, maybe it's just that bad blood it's got. The bad blood. I think there's air holes in it. But you can test it, like put, give it the salt water test, see if it's like got a, a bad balance. That is so much work. The red but, is heavier. It's putting only, salt in a cup. The only salt I have is coarse pink Himalayan salt. Well, buy I'm some not going to take the time to grind. Buy that. some table salt. <laughs> for one thing, no. Yes, I mean, but not for one thing. For many things, you need that iodine. You don't want to get goiters. That's why I have the pink Himalayan salt. Iodine <laughs> also helps with uh, lots of things, like attitude, mood. Oh, yeah. It helps yeah. with a lot of stuff. And I mean, goiters. The, the pink Himalayan salt has iodine in it. Do, does it? Yeah. Because you sound pretty goitery. All right. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> goiters. <laughs> All right. So um, give me those initiative bon- uh, rolls, Valric. Oh, sorry. Uh, a 10. A 10. Jeb. Uh, 10. Also a 10. Lady outside. I wasted a natural 20 on this. 33. Oh. <laughs> God. Uh, let's see. Zarius. 16. 16. Well, um, I guarantee you're going before the elemental. <laughs> yes. Where's my elemental? There you are. <laughs> Go to. Uh, <laughs> and let's get pod in here. Okay, so lady outside, you see Z- uh, Zarius zip into the nearby cliff face. He basically decides not to cast the, uh, the earth shape spell, but basically leap his leap from his precarious precision, uh, levitating over the side of the cliff. 
into what you suddenly discover is an illusionary cliff face as he just flies right into it. So what you're saying is this like this 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 border that looks like a border is not a border at all. I'm saying oh sorry, let me let me describe what's going on here. Uh so you see that that gray line at the top there? Yes. Uh that is the edge of the cliff. I forgot where I was. I think there. Yeah. yeah, that is the edge of the cliff and about 35 feet down is the crack, which is where Zarius was. I'm assuming everybody's watching him. Uh, that's just out of interest. So you guys can move your characters to the, like, the edge of the cliff if you like. That's the crack. Zarius oh. leapt inside of it. Oh, I don't want to be there. Well, whatever. We'll move <laughs> where we were. Like, because, yeah, like this, this thing is below. It's like down there. How far down is it? 35 us? feet. About 35 feet from the edge of your cliff. Indeed. And how much space is in that area? Like, is it just as open? Or no, you, guys, it- you guys can't actually see where he is. You, you saw him just basically more like just leap through the stone wall of the cliff face. I guess I'm asking because. I want to get in there and as far away from the thing as possible, but I don't want to. Currently, you cannot see what's going on down there. Yeah. That's weird. How how big is the opening compared to the elemental? Uh, I believe I made uh, it. Sorry, I thought I made it clear. Uh, Let me outline that real quick. Looks to me like where the orange line is, is where the opening. It's about a. In other words, the opening is actually smaller than elemental. Smaller the elemental, you kind of just lucked out scooting through its legs. <laughs> okay. So where we're at, none of us can see what's happening. Yeah, the only thing you guys on the cliff face have seen is Zarius take a leap of faith through the illusion that is the cliff face wall. And we don't know how wide that illusion is, only that where that crack is, there is something wide enough for Zarius to get through. Correct. Okay. But yeah, so I'm still just I'm still just trying to make it clear like there's no like taking a step inside without falling 35 feet. I'm confused. It's 35 feet down from the edge of where you're looking. Like that's where the crack is as you can see. That's where he was, that's where he left there. So basically you'd have to fly down like- there. You have to fly down there and into the cra- into the crack or the area nearby. Okay. And the thing is like right inside the crack. Well, you don't know that, but yeah. I mean, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I'm just, I'm just like, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out like if I put myself somewhere on the map, like how do I do that? I'm confused. So I'm gonna use Featherfall. I'm gonna go, I guess down. I don't You're know how try. to, I don't know how to depict that on this here map. Uh, basically, you just, uh, I need you to make a acro, uh, is it acrobatics check? A simple one, but. To use Featherfall? To use Featherfall and, but if you're aiming toward the area that Zarius went into. Because clearly he went into the cliff. There's, there's no denying that. But there's a, there's, so there's, is space outside of the crack to be? To stand? No. So if you go down, you have to go into the crack. Yes, it is basically all, it's pretty sheer towards down the, the 350 foot drop toward the lake. Okay. But, Gotcha. Think about this for a second. So it's acrobatics? um, Lady outside? Yes. Think about this for a second. If I went through, I would probably notify y'all what I found. So don't just assume I'm in combat immediately. But we did hear the elemental roar. Yeah, it did make a noise. Like You guys heard like a loud grinding of like... So something between a yeah. roar and an avalanche, basically. <laughs> and there is a rope tied off to a python. Yes, there there is a rope, but you can hold on to the rope just in case. All right, so twenty one using acrobatics and feather fall to get oh. in. Okay, um, then you leap down uh, with the feather fall. Oh shit! Not that! Not that! Stop! 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 <laughs> okay, you leap down and land into the immediately to the area nearby you basically and once you leap down around and into the the wall 
you can see immediately that there's this huge hulking creature made of stone looming over Zarius. Um, it is it is enraged, and <laughs> you are very close to it as well. So, so like as soon as I as soon as, as soon as I can see it, can I like aim myself so I can go away from it? No, no, or you can't see it not... until you're into there. That's the problem. Yeah, but isn't it? How tall is it? Uh, the cavern area that it's in is pretty tall. It's about 30, uh, 30 feet high ceilings. It, so, creep- like, how far down do I go before I can actually see it? Uh, you basically go about 40 feet. Basically, you, you whip over the side into the in the illusionary wall. Once you're into the other side of the illusionary wall, you can clearly see what's going on. But I'm still in the air at that time, right? No, you're not. Basically, you land on a little platform at the entrance. <laughs> you have to go through the illusion to land. Uh-huh. And you have to go through the illusion to see the creature. Does she still have movement left? Uh, what's your movement? 30 feet. 30 feet. Uh, let's see. But you did a fall. So what is that? 60 feet. Mm-hmm. So I uh, I will give you I'll give you I, I'll I'll count that as a move the the, the fall and land. So you've done, you've done a move with featherfall. Fuck it. From where I'm at, we'll save. All right. Uh, you you land. You immediately survive what's going on. A giant monster is about to wallop Zarius, and you <laughs> decide to go for a attack with your witchcraft. Let's do this. We'll see. I have a bum, 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 bum. Ah, it's not bad. Uh, 24. All righty then. So for 10 rounds, minus, oh, sorry, only one round since you got the will save. Minus two to will saves. Oh, minus two to will saves. <laughs> or excuse me, minus, minus two to all saving throws is all how that would work. Gotcha. Yes. Right. And that was a standard. Mm-hmm. Okay, so next in line that brings us to Zarius himself. Zarius, you see the lady outside suddenly just whip around from the the top of the cliff into the illusion land. Quickly cast a hex. It's your go. <clears throat> okay, as a move action, I um, trigger my raging song, and then use my adamantite earthbreaker and attack the elemental. Oh crap! Uh, <laughs> what oh crap? Uh, I rolled a hat twenty. Okay. You scared me with that. <laughs> yeah, that didn't with sound a, like a good old crap. <laughs> with an adamantite earthbreaker, so thirty overall. Thirty overall. And it's a times three crit. Oh we. Well, unfortunately, he's using his crit card, so you just uh, get two oh. crit cards. Uh, also, well, no. Unfortunately, this is an elemental, so he, he is not subject to critical hits or flanking. <laughs> oh, really? He is not. That sucks. Mm, I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, but he does get hit. He does yeah. get hit in a big way. Uh, but I, I will let you ignore the creature's dr for this particular round with the natural twenty. Wouldn't an uh, adamantine earthbreaker or is just DR? This is DR. Slash. Yeah. <laughs> Damn elementals. So, yes, you, do, you do get uh, a, a critical bonus in that you can do full damage. That's generous. What do you mean? I mean, normally you have DR blast slash, but since you're using. You're not doing times three damage, but you're ignoring its DR. You're not, you are going okay. to DR this round, yes. So I, I did 14 points of damage. 14. All right. <laughs> All right, we got tens coming up next. Valric and Jeb, who's next? Jeb. Yep, I got a plus five to my initiative. I turned to Valric. All right, immediately, All right, immediately 
like after after the lady outside disappears in the cliff, you hear a clang as um mm. as 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 Zarius is attacking something down there out of your sight. What are you doing? Okay, I turn to Valric and I say there's something going on down there. You want me to fly you down? Um I don't have any other way to get down today, so well there's a rope tied off. Sure. <laughs> Uh, right. My minus one climb check really makes me confident that that'll be a <laughs> thing that I do. All right. So uh, after that interaction, Jeb is going to flap his wings, swing around behind Valric, and start the process of flying him down. I don't know if you want me to double move, but like that would be my whole turn is scooping him up. Or yeah, I'm going to say that to get you guys both down there carrying him, it's going to be both of you. So- uh, the full round. So, at the end of at the end of the turn, you guys basically land beside the lady outside, uh, inside the cave mouth. Now I've got sixty feet of movement as I fly, so it'll feet. take my whole movement to get to get him and fly to there. Well, let's see. Like, what's your? That's strength? fine if it is. I'm just uh, making what, sure. What is your strength? Uh. Average ten. Okay, then yeah, it's it's at least a medium load for you to carry him down there. Fair enough. Possibly more. So yeah, uh, yeah. How much do take... you weigh? How much do you weigh, uh, Valorant? Not much. I'm pretty light, but you know, gear. Because I can, uh, My max load is a hundred pounds. Uh, max light. Oh, load? I'm I'm only carrying ten pounds. <laughs> so, I'm 150 pounds, maybe all together. Okay, so you are a heavy load for me. All right, so yeah, definitely, it's gonna take your full round to get him down there. Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay, so it's your go, Valorant. You land on the other side. You see uh, the fucking terrifying visage of a 15 foot wide, almost 20 foot tall el- stone elemental, <laughs> and I'm stupidly close to it now. And you're very stupidly close to it. Um, I am going to cast invisibility defensively. Defensively, all right. Do I need to? Uh, you don't know for sure, so yeah. I don't want to meta game it. Um, Quick, serious. Has it acted yet? <laughs> can I roll a perception to see if it's noticed me? Sure. Uh, I would definitely know. <laughs> right. It a seems third. like it has not seen anybody behind it yet. It okay. seems to be focused entirely on Zarius. Then I will take the risk and um, just cast invisibility on myself. Or actually, I'm just going to do vanish because I don't need to be invisible that long. And uh, then I will move. Uh, All right. What was I here? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> Uh, you quickly scurry invisibly across the cavern face. Um, you so, guys suddenly see um, an eagle basically leap, fly through the illusion as well and land on the side of the cavern, uh, quickly reforming into Pod Demolar. As the elementals go. All All right, so the only person who is actually seen and is aware of... Well, let's see if it notices the rest of the group now. You guys aren't necessarily hiding. So, yes, it does see the rest of the group. Minus me. Minus you. Uh, Even or odd, uh, Mahogany. Odd. All right. Uh, Okay, let's see. All right. So the creature um, basically begins flailing wildly at whoever is nearby. In this case, that will be uh, you, Lady Outside, and you, Zarius. I'm just a bird. Just a bird. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, fly away. Plus, oh gosh, that's a... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh <laughs> The creature, does 24 hit you, lady outside? Yes. All right. 31 hits you, Zarius. 
Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. So, lady outside, you get whammed for twenty-one damage. Zarius, oh, you God. get also whammed for twenty-two damage. Ow! As the creature's flailing fists just begin beating at whoever he sees is the top of the round once more lady outside what are you doing who's that beside me who is that beside you jeb i believe that's jeb yeah here let me put him in an actual square there you go hmm. if i ask him something can he answer before i go if as long as it's short do you want to be here do you want to be right here or further back further back all right, so I'm going to touch Jeb and cast defensively. Let's see. What is that spell? Blah, 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 blah. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, yeah, I definitely make the co- the, co- the cast defensively check. Um, so I cast Dimension Door, and I'm going to move myself and Jeb yeah let's see i want to be shoot Under i'm still the on seat. the other thing i'm on the other thing where's yeah, the hand there's the hand i want to be like this this orange is where the cave is yes that we're at that is okay. the boundaries of the cave all right i'll be right here and jeb you can be right here beside me. And then I shall cackle to increase to keep my hex going. All right. <laughs> okay. It's my turn. Mm. Zarius, you go. <clears throat> to drink a potion. That'd be a move action. I believe so. It's a move action to retrieve it. It's the standard to drink it. Oh, Jesus. Is that right? Even if I got it in a... Um, this is a standard bandolier. action. Yeah. Uh, uh, bandolier might change it. But I it believe is, a yeah. bandolier makes it swift. Yeah, a bandolier will make it free, but it's still a standard action to drink it. Um. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll go, go ahead and uh, drink a potion of haste. All right. You have drunk a potion of haste. Any moves? Um. Yeah, I think I will move. All right. I'm going to move. Let me see. Back this way. So a bandolier makes it a retrieve a stored item. Action. Whatever that is. Wait, why would it? I thought it would make it. Oh, I'm thinking of something else entirely, but uh, whatever. We'll just go with it. I well, how about as I move, I retrieve it and then drink it as my standard. All right. Uh, are you moving with any particular skills or abilities? Um, I mean, I could use, I guess I could do acrobatics. You might want to use acrobatics. Just <laughs> okay. The. 24? 24. Unfortunately, that, that does not uh, shield you. got hold of that. From the creature. probably could have got hold high enough. What's that? Impossible. Oh. It's a pretty powerful monster. Um, so it gets an attack of opportunity on you, but I don't think... Well, actually, no, actually. This thing's, it's 25 hits you. Yes, it does. You get hit again uh, before your haste goes off uh, for 15. Okay. But yes, you tumble away. The creature slams into you as you get out of its way. However, uh, whenever you come up, you have your potion ready and swing it down really quickly. Uh, Jeb. Uh, Jeb is going to do a flyby attack, moving at least 10 feet. Remember, I you fought elementals before. You know that yep. it's it's fine. It's hard to find weak points on them. Yeah, I'm. I know that my precision damage will not, or my sneak attack won't work. Okay, but 
Still going to do a flyby attack to fly 20 feet to hit him and then come back here because I don't want to be up close to it when it's yeah. its turn. All right. Well, it's already used the attack of opportunity this round, so. Dope. So swing it in. 22 to hit. 22 will hit. And that is no sneak attack, right? No Even, sneak. Because I, I would get it on a charge, but if they're not, if they're immune to it, then don't get this, it. This guy is immune to it. Okay. That is three, nine damage. Nine damage. All right. Your weapon pings harmlessly off its stony hide. All right. Well, I'm out. <laughs> that was my best hit. Let's see. Um, your go Valric. They can be like nauseated and sickened, though. I believe so. Yeah. Hold on. Let me double check. Uh, let's see. This is uh, immunity to bleed, paralysis, poison, sleep effects, and stunning. Yes, they can. I knew it was stunned, so there's no point in color spraying. However, I will. Basically, as a caster fight, I'm not going to lie. These, these monsters are fucking tough as hell for melee. <laughs> I'm going to move 5, 10, 15. I'm going to move here before I cast because I'm still invisible. Uh, so I don't provoke. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm going to move a little bit further, move the full 30 away, and then I'm going to wrap him in a veil, a lo- loathsome veil. Ew. It's normally a wall, but I'm going to do a, just a complete circle around him um, so that it doesn't affect anybody on the outside of where he's standing. It'll only affect him. Uh, he can move out of it, but he still needs to give me a will save. Will save. It's minus two. Minus two. All right. Well, okay. Uh, okay. Ugh. All right. So, uh, 14? Huh. Not even close. Uh, <laughs> his hit die minus four is what? His hit die minus four is still an impressive uh, nine. All right. So, the creature is sickened. Sickened with penalties, minus twos, and things. Uh, yeah, I was hoping it would be if it, if it was just one more, if it was eight, it would have been a little better. <laughs> um, Minus two to attack rolls, weapon damage rolls, saving throws, skill checks, and ability checks. Yeah, yeah. So I got his uh, his, his total minus four now for any saves. saves. Uh, but if it was eight, he would have been nauseated as well. Mm. Oh, so, all right. But yeah, he's sickened. I did that. Back and I'm no longer street. invisible. All right. Let's see. All right. Um, you hear a brief muttering from behind you. Let's see. Actually, a step. <laughs> you see Demomark step back further into the caverns by one. Can't get him out of attack range. And he begins muttering a spell. Let me do a um, reflex save. All right, the an explosion of fire engulfs that part of the room. The elemental fails to save against the fireball. Huzzah! And take some damage. All right. <laughs> But that is what Demomark does. He basically fireballs the guy, but the elemental is still up and kicking. And it's its go. Uh, the elemental moves forward a bit. Uh, does anybody here speak Terran? Hold on a second. Let me check. Nope. Nope. Aklo, though. Um, Aklo, no, no, it's, ter- it's Terran. Is the thing he speaks. The ele- language of Earth Elementals is what he speaks. So, um, the creature basically extends its powerful arms, flailing at the last two creatures that attacked him. 
which would be Jeb and Pod. Uh, Jeb, does 27 get you? Yep. All right. Then Pod is also hit pretty hard. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jeb, you take 18 damage. Demomark takes a, also takes a savage blow. That purple circle I put up on the map is that veil. All right. So he's still in it a little bit. Was that um was that was that supposed to penalize my attacks too? Minus two. I mean two? he's minus two, so yeah. Okay. With twenty three have it you Jeff? Yep. Okay, sure. Also would have done minus two to the damage. Oh, okay. Then mm-hmm. subtract two damage from yourself. Alright. Top of the round, lady outside. This creature is just whamming in people into people. This creature, I will require one will save from this creature. This creature has a will save uh, penalty of minus four, so that nets him a uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> Misfortune upon you! No! Yes. And then I cackle! <laughs> <laughs> Still minus two from that. All right. Uh, serious. I'm going to step forward and attack it twice. First attack, 25 to hit. It's. Good attack is uh, eight. 28 to hit. 28 also hits. All right. 22 points of damage. From the first hit or both? From both hits. Adamantite or Breaker. Okay. S- separate them for me from now on, by the way. Okay. Well, it was two, four, uh, 10 points on the first hit attack, and two, four. 12 points on the second attack, I think. All right. You uh, ping into it. You don't, you you know you're not doing as much damage as you could. Only a few chips of stone come off it with these attacks. Um, let's see. We're at the Jeb area. All right. Uh, well, Jeb knows he's not going to do anything damage-wise with a rapier. So I'm going to spend um, whatever action it is to retrieve a sunrod from my stored items. It's a standard action, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So my standard will be to pull out a sunrod. How does that work? The sunrise is something you have the lighter just crack like a fucking um, uh, like a glow gl- stick. A glow stick, yeah. I've ever- <laughs> One foot long, gold tipped iron rod glows brightly when struck as so, a yeah. standard action. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's, it's a glow stick, but just apparently it still takes a standard action. Well, it sheds normal light in a 30 foot radius. No, it's not like sunlight at all. So. No. Yeah. Leaving it in its face wouldn't make it difficult for it to see. Not really. Well, that's dumb. Like, would, you like like to, to, would you like to backtrack? Yeah, I guess so. Um, what a fucking fly away. <laughs> no. They can't be flanked. There's nothing I can do to this thing. Like, nothing. Does it have eyes? It has. Uh, well, it, no. it can see. It can see. <laughs> it can see and it can be blinded and things like that. But, like, actually, it's got eyes. Tremor eyes. Sense. Yeah. So, getting in its face wouldn't do anything. I'm. Uh, Sorry, Zarius, I'm going to fly away. 
There's nothing I can do to help you. The only thing that I can do is take damage. And that's not going to help you. You could take, you took that attack of opportunity if you didn't acrobatics away. That's fine. I mean, I'm flying. So is that a fly check? Uh, Yeah, I guess instead of acrobatics, it would be flying. A fly check to do the thing. Uh, 24. 24. 24 does not get it. And 30, 34. It, however, its turn has a, its turn hasn't come around again. So, oh, did it already <laughs> take one? Uh, yeah, it took one on Zarius. Mm. That's what I thought. But would a thirty four get it? Yes. Yeah, because that's actually what it was. Okay. <laughs> so then we're at Valric if, after Jeb is uh, fleeing. Me? Yep. Um, I'm hoping with the minus four this will work. Um, give me a fortitude save. Fortitude. Mm. I roll the four, which gives it a with a minus four. This is a, this is a, this is a nail biter here. Um, yeah, it's going to be close. Not really. Uh, that only gives it a 13. <laughs> oh, Ray of Enfeeblement. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Um, <laughs> Thank goodness. All right. So it's D6 plus three will be negative to its strength. And I rolled a four. So minus seven strength. Minus seven strength. That puts it in the minus four to all attacks and damage area. So minus six to all attacks and damage. Or is it still... Yeah, it's still second as long as it's Oh, yeah, that's right. There. So, yeah, minus six to all attacks and damage. All right, cool. Demo marks go. Let's see what Demo mark is doing this round. All right. Um, you see him begin to throw a, a, a lob several scorching rays at the creature. One flies over its head, hits the wall uh, rather spectacularly, doing nothing. One, <laughs> one hits the creature, uh, doing its, its scorching damage. And, oh, boy. Where is my box? There you go. Oh, did he fumble? He fumbled. Ooh, the magic spell. fumbles. Those on are a, on a spell attack. Oh, those wait. are great. Uh-huh. <laughs> see what see what happens. This poor schmuck. Destroy all your allies. <laughs> Backblast. The attack hits you and is a critical threat. You must roll to confirm the critical. All right. So his own crit, his own. Scorching ray bounces off the hide of the creature. Um, <clears throat> confirming the hit. Oh, ow. See, so, oh my god. And these were maximized scorching rays. Oh, no. Oh, geez. Yay. So that's, <laughs> so that's, is going to break. So, wait, 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 wait. This. How much damage is that? Is if it, uh, it's twenty four damage for a maximized ray, right? Yeah, forty eight fire damage on this guy. God damn! Yeesh. He lets out a, a horrible scream as this. <laughs> that would have knocked me below zero. <laughs> <laughs> he blasting him is to his knees. Ah! He already took a savage hit from the elemental too. Yes, yeah, he's like, oh, I'm too old. I'm getting too old for this. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. But uh, at least the elemental took some damage. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Demo Mark. Take a few more hits. It's the elementals go. Yeah, smash them. Misfortune and minus sixes. Minus and six stuff. to hit, minus six damage. All right. So the elemental moves up a bit. So weird. I'm rooting for it to smash the wizard. It moves up a bit. Let's see. Who's if that, that gets of- him out of the veil, then he, he's not sickened anymore. Well, he's technically. Wait, it's after yeah. he's still another round, right? Yeah, it's a certain amount of time. Uh, no, it's because of his uh, thing. He might be good. Um, and technically, he's still in part of it. Yeah, you, uh-huh. uh, you're still on like the edge okay. of it. So I'll let it go. All right. So, okay. So at minus six. Uh, who is that in with the black and white token? That's you. Oh, that's uh, me. All right. So 
<laughs> and <laughs> his misfortune too, right? He is mis. Oh god, misfortune. Okay. Yeah. Though I don't know how they can roll any worse than what I fucking rolled for the attacks. All right, so yeah. The only thing the misfortune did was show me how much better I could have done. Uh, <laughs> the creature whips out its arm, smashes at Demomark. However, Demomark, despite his savage burns and like being utterly uh, like back blasted by his own spell, is able to dodge the blow with clumsy but efficient grace. Does minus six? Does eighteen hit you? Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> what do you mean? Oh wow! Oh, my AC do. was twelve for a year. <laughs> uh, it does twenty-three damage to you. No, oh, just over oh, half wow. my hit points. Do. Oh wait, no, no, that's wrong. That is way wrong. Minus six. Minus, Minus six. six. It does fourteen damage to you. <laughs> eight mm. hey, 23 minus 6 yeah, 17 yeah, 17 yeah. damage to you yeah, the 70 damage. <laughs> trying, to, trying to Kevin out a few more numbers on us huh <laughs> it was in my favor yeah was it, it was. Was in your favor like my, when my math goes wrong it's never in my favor <laughs> <laughs> all right so that was the elemental we're back at the top of the round lady outside the creature uh, is moving ever closer to block you guys into the hallway. <clears throat> indeed, quiet, quiet, quiet. But uh, my question is, yeah. So, so stone discus that that counts as that doesn't count as magical or anything, and nothing matters like with this slashing. Yeah. No, unfortunately, no. It's just, Does it matter if it's magic or not? It basically ca- it's basically hardness at this point. Like the gotcha. creature just counts as being just automatically just ignores a certain amount of damage. So the creature is mm-hmm. just really hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's hard all the time. It is rock hard. In fact, it is. <laughs> and then uh, my second question is: This like we can't be side by side back here. This is this is only five feet, or is this ten feet? You count them as ten feet. I just drew them. Like yeah. and Jeb okay. is above you if there's I'll, room for him to fly. I'll have a full map for you guys. Gotcha. Next time we fly. So if I move right here, I should be able to do lightning bolt without hitting anybody because Jeb's flying. Uh yes, sure. Cool. Cause that's what I want to do. Ah! And I'm pretty sure this is just a, a reflex save. Three. I rolled a three. All right. <laughs> so that is 76. Twenty-one, thirty-three points of damage. Thirty-three points for a twelve. Twenty-two. Yeah, plus nine. Yeah, no. Let me make sure my math is right. Sorry, ten. 25, 7, 2, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 34. 34 points of damage. All right. Uh, your lightning bolt s- slashes across the room, j- uh, striking the elemental. You see the areas where it has been um, hit by other magical blows begin to glow brightly. The creature is barely hanging together, but still alive. And then I cackle. <laughs> Fucker. You can see his uh, rocky form glowing from the inside out, only barely maintaining its shape given the intense heat and energy that has been subject- subjected to. Zarius, it's your go. I am going to do a five foot step backwards and fling sphere him. Gotcha. Sure, I be sphere. Actually, um, uh, the creature, you've noticed the creature has a particularly long reach, 15 feet. Okay, cast defensively then. All right. Then. Um, cast defensively, I rolled a 17. What do I add to that? Uh, it's 15 plus double the spell level. So, yeah, the, the, the DC is Okay, 19. second level spell. Yeah, <laughs> DC is 19. Okay. Flaming Sphere. What I'm casting on him. 
Um, yeah, reflex save for me. Reflex save. I roll even worse than I did against the lightning bolt. So it takes 3d6 damage. All right, roll that fire. I put you a fireball on the map. Mm, Thanks. Nice. <laughs> Crap. Six, six, two. That's uh, 14 points of damage. 14. Nice. Let's see. So that's 14. We're good at doing 14 damage. Uh, 20, <laughs> 60, 60, 70. All right, the creature uh, it basically is glowing white hot at this point. Its internal temperature is uh, giving off. You can hear the stone plinking as, as the cool air of the uh, the cave around it is trying to combat the internal heat that you guys are generating within the stone creature. However, it is still up. Jeb, what I are you doing? <laughs> uh, Jeb is going to, he's got to do something. He's going to stay attempt. out of the way, whatever you do. <laughs> He's going to attempt another flyby attack. All right. You've got to be shitting me. You've got to be shooting me. It was a natural 19 that rolled back over to a one. It wouldn't uh, have mattered. Confirming you can't crit. my fumble. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm about. Con- Yeah, that's what I'm mad about. because he just had to do something. <laughs> had to do something. Uh, you, 25. What does the 25 do? Does that confirm my fumble? Uh, or would I hit Would I hit with a 25? Was I confirming fumbles? I don't even remember. Yeah, you uh, confirmed Pod Dimmelmark's fumble. No, no, that was just part of the fumble itself that I had to confirm a critical hit against him. Ah, well then I fumbled. Okay. Uh, piercing Torn Tendon, you take one point of dex Jesus. Bleed. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Oh, my God. Are you saying 1d6 dex bleed? No, one dex bleed. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. But it's still bleed. It is bleed. How does, how does that a heal? heal stops it? You'll need a magical healing. It. Yeah, a magical healing will stop the bleed. So on your next round, you'll take a dex bleed. Rick. Continue my flyby attack to go back to here. Okay. All right, yes. Yeah, so the, the thing is just too hard. You jaw your arm. You basically tear a tendon. You feel a wrenching pain in, as you as you land behind the rest of the party. Valric, what are you doing? It doesn't take us attack of opportunity on, on uh, Jib. Oh, gosh, <laughs> I forgot. It's turn it came up. Can it do that on the flyby attack? I thought that was... Yeah, no, it still gets a chance. Oh, okay. Um, Let's see. Penalty... It's still minus six. Yeah. And mm-hmm. misfortune. And oh, misfortune. misfortune. That's right. 20... Get you? No. All right. <laughs> misfortune saved you. <laughs> that way it... Nope. <laughs> Misfortune Damn. upon you. And I only threw you under the bus because I didn't want to have to cast defensively. Give me a reflex save. That's, why, <laughs> that's, that's another reason that I I had yeah. to do something to, to absorb some. No, that's great. I feel pretty good uh, about my. This ability. element the elemental has a reflex save. Normally a plus three, so it's got a minus three. I rolled an eight, five. Awesome. Uh, seeing all this <laughs> intense heat come off the creature. I am uh, reminded of throwing cold or uh, hot water on a cold windshield and hoping that the opposite happens as my hands go in a weird arcane symbol and freezing shadowy cold comes out from the front of them into the creature dealing. 10, 16, 17, 18, 19 damage. All right. You're, you're, nice. Your shadowy cold la- la- uh, engulfs the creature. You see the in- intense heat generated by the previous spells interact with the cold of the spell that you were casting on it. You hear a loud crack as the creature basically snaps in half. Its limbs begin to fall off. Some uh, uh, A light stream of magma begins to come out of the raw, open limb protrusions of it as the creature crumbles, melts, freezes, dies here in the magma. first room of the cave. Yay. Giving off a acrid stick. Liquid hot magma. magma. Yes, indeed. magma. It's so rare that I actually kill a creature. Yay! <laughs> Yay! 
Oh, that's oh, that, this was a tough fight. It was yeah. a tough fight. So Jeb uh, clutches his shoulder, <laughs> and his rapier falls from his limp hands, and he says, "Ow." <laughs> okay, um, better talk to a cleric about that. <laughs> come here. You see, uh, yes, d- yes, see- living people, come over here. You see Demomark uh, digging through his his belt pouches as he as he swigs a potion really quickly, and he he's holding one out to whoever needs it. I I think I I think I may have dislocated my shoulder on that last hit. Ugh. I uh wink at um Valric and uh uh I come over this way, people. I can. I can bless you with the life of nature. <laughs> Zip, zap, zap. <laughs> there I go. Yep, I'm right. over there. Right, I'm Jeb, actually I'm... okay. I'll lie. And then heal myself with negative energy magic. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, Demo Mark stumbles towards you as well. Like, oh, man. man did Jeb, did you take that potion from him? Yeah, yeah, I'll take the potion. All right, roll two d eight and three. Two d. He didn't say he was going to drink it. Oh, you're just taking the potion? No, no, I'll drink it. Okay. I mean, is it just healing? It is just healing, but it will stop your dex bleed, which at this point would be two. Yeah. Oh, I was going to cast a uh, a restoration on him. Well, he's still going to need it. Uh, yeah, I still uh, need that too. So it stops the bleed. Because, you know, yeah, it was still bleeding out. All right. But, yeah, I don't need too much healing. <laughs> healing. Uh, you get uh, four points back if you're only down two. Perfect. Four dex four. points? Yeah, I rolled okay. four. All right. So while you guys are doing some healing real quickly, let me describe the room around you. The room around you is... Um, a bare stony cavern for the most part. However, you see there are a number of humanoid skeletons. Uh, Almost every last one of them seems to have some kind of climbing gear, either old, ancient, or wrecked uh, on their, on their, the remains. (laughs) Demo Mark looks around and says, well, I thought I would, thought I'd, Thought I was unique in discovering the place, but it looks like the Guardian has saved us the uh, <laughs> the indignity of being last. <laughs> well, uh, if you want, we can push these guys out, and nobody has not to before know we not before we check their bodies. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, nobody has to know that anybody else found this place at all. Oh, I have no intention of telling them where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let let other people continue to look for it. Yeah. Like idiots. Well, he still wants the credit of being, you know, the guy who found it. Yes, but if you're the guy who found it, it also means you're the guy who knows. <laughs> another, another thing people can pay for. <laughs> That's a tour. He's going to turn it into another tourist trap. <laughs> 14, <laughs> yeah. 14 hit points back to everybody that's within my ra- radius. Awesome. I am right. good to go. I was uh-huh. really close in that combat to being like, all right, it's time uh-huh. to open up this portable hole. We're oh, yeah. going to get your golem out there. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> work. I as, mean, as soon as his Earthbreaker went bling. Oh, yo, yeah. I was like, are we in desperate measures so now? 14 back. So far. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, I need, we all need more. Uh, another yeah. thirteen. All right, I'm. Oh, I'm topped off after Same. that motion I took. I should have waited. I'm topped off after that last bit. Um, I gotta do one more. Yeah, you got fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> toe to toe with a huge earth elemental. Happy uh, birthday. Another, <laughs> thank you. Another another 15 points back to people that need it. Oh, wonderful. Dylan Mark is pleased for the healing. Um, it certainly saves him on potions. <laughs> <laughs> no, I look at him and go, 
thank you for that fireball. <laughs> uh, I didn't think that was something you folks could handle on your own. No offense, but it looked pretty dangerous. Uh, yeah. As I spit a little bit of blood out. <laughs> something yeah. I wouldn't have risked summoning. That's for sure. I've got a pointy stick. <laughs> basically. Well, hopefully this is the only extra planar guardian on the area. <laughs> but it was an effective one. I'll give you that. Oh, I I I thought real long and hard. I was like, I got stone shape. That could do massive damage. Then I did some research and it's like, no, stone shape doesn't work on creatures. <laughs> I think it would have pissed it off though. Definitely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, what I was gonna do Dad, if you look try at to her, rearrange her, me. You touched me in my no no zone. <laughs> <laughs> the move earth spell um can stun it and flings it back 30 feet. So cool. what I was thinking was I could uh, maybe convince you to treat it like a move earth. But what I was looking at doing was I could see that. Oh, that'd been great. Except for the elemental is bigger than the opening. Cause I was going to try <laughs> to cast it and like fling it out the opening into the oh. water down below. <laughs> and it's like, Nope, that screws that plan up. <laughs> Oh man! I will say all the right. fun thing about going through these big combats is you start digging through all the stuff that you haven't looked at in a while. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I've got a wand of levitate. I totally could have just come down there. <laughs> I didn't have to even use my wings to go up the mountain. I could have just <laughs> levitated it up. I think yeah. I, I was wondering. It's like I have levitate episode. also, but I didn't think it was like useful. I didn't think it was like fast enough. It's, it's slow, but when it's we slow, first- but. You- you still go up. When we first <laughs> got here, I could have not shown off the wings and just been like, oh, yeah, I got this wand for climbing mountains. Yeah. I could have, I mean, di- like, David Blade my way up. <laughs> <laughs> I think you actually mentioned your wand of levitate when we first met Pod. And he was like, can anybody fly? You're like, eh, I think I got a wand to levitate. Yeah, mm. I completely forgot. I was just so excited to use my my necromancy fly spell. Actually, I mentioned levitate to him because I didn't want to actually um, mention about my flying ability. All right. So yeah, uh, next time I'll, I'll or I will come up with the I'll have a few uh, treasure items for this chamber where previous people have gotten this far and died. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not surprised that they died in this far because I mean, geez. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I got and- lucky that it went through its legs. Could you imagine <laughs> butting your head against it when you uh-huh. won- tried to go through the illusion? <laughs> and, <laughs> and what's funny is smacks you out the opening again. Yeah. You were talking, uh, remember you were talking about like a bank that the hand would come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I can see this big elemental arm coming out. Thanks. <laughs> Crush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's still the reason I stayed where I was at because I was like, okay, well, I could move now or I could wait and dimension door somebody with me. <laughs> and that just because I knew we were all going to end up right there at the freaking opening. Well, if y'all had stayed up top, my plan was to try to, I had one more minute of flight left. I was going to jump out the opening. I would take probably an attack of opportunity, of course, but I was going to at least get the hell out of there and then let y'all know what the hell was going on, which I don't know if the earth elemental would have actually left the chamber by tra- um, channeling up through the earth, but at least we would have been able to take it. I wasn't going to try to take the thing on by myself. Well, that's what's worried yeah. me is like we were going down this hallway and it's like these things have earth glide. The fact that this thing's only. 10 feet wide doesn't matter to this elemental. right yeah, yeah like if, if you'd gotten back up to the top i just would have had him shoot straight through the, the ground well, to the well, that's what i figured mm. <laughs> but i was like but i wouldn't be by myself yeah but but the brave people jumped down to help me out yeah Ooh. very out of character we're comrades <laughs> yes man. very out of character but mainly because i didn't realize that i would have to go straight into the whole <laughs> until i did all right I, whoops uh, yeah so yeah next next time i'll have a, a more fleshed out dungeon area for this um this this cavern and well, some tre- some treasure items and um we're gonna call it there if that's all right with you guys well before- oh, yeah, actually it was good it was fun I want to say maybe it wasn't that out of character. Maybe the lady outside is uh, 
grown Altruistic? in affection no. <laughs> no, that's not it. I think <laughs> with, with me and probably with the lady, it was like, oh, there's an illusionary wall in a combat. The dragon's treasure has to be back there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was it was some of that and some of um I have this like, you know, I want to whatever this is, I want to try to take it out. I want I want to try to try to use my jump that I have on it. I don't want to waste it. Right. What's the point of going so first if you don't go? So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I basically just wasted a haste potion. <laughs> like ding 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 you, ding. You also ding. traded out a haste spell for a spell you didn't yeah. use. <laughs> well, but Day's that, not you over. Know, hey, not whatever. Yet. You guys, you guys have a yeah. You guys did a did a great job working with the knowledge you had, and then you know dealing with the swerve. Mm. Well, I could always cover this opening up because since it's not that big, it's use true. a stone can, shape to close it. You can. Stone shape you guys in there. I, I thought about saying we no. can leave the golem <laughs> at the door it's just in case those uh those shiny seven, what the hell are their names? Well, well that's what I was gonna think. We could block it where they can't get in. <laughs> yeah. Here. But oh, then again, I don't want following. them to kill my I don't want them to kill my golem because we've had to do all do all of the hard work and then they just show up. Yeah. No. Well, I we don't do actually, something for we them. We don't Can know it? that they know this way yet. Yeah. yeah well, I, 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 I'd rather because they could actually come across the sailors, uh, and the sailors yeah. tell them where we we were dropped off at, <laughs> and it wouldn't take much to figure out. Um, I'm gonna probably actually take the time and stone shape this thing shut. All right. Yeah, yeah. Some deep, and then if you, that's some deep you, Jeff paranoia right there. If you don't You're make damn it right out it of is. here, then we're stone shaped in there. <laughs> <laughs> in the, now you're this, now you're committed. Yeah, <laughs> this this comes from me playing first edition D and I love the idea of him stone shaping the wall, and then the golden companions show up and they go, "Hmm, there's an illusionary wall there with my detect magic spell. <laughs> Swing down and go in. Wham." Right into the stone <laughs> George of the jungling, right into the suckers. Golden Actually, idiots. I will make sure the stone shaped wall goes past the illusion. Okay. So the oh, illusion no. won't be seen. Oh, you, you should leave cover the illusion the out, illusion. But then have yeah. like spiked stones behind the illusion <laughs> so that when they go to fly through, I will need a Find them impaled check for that one. I'll assess. The- yeah. <laughs> huh? Who puts a stone spike wall behind an illusion? <laughs> Those assholes. They're lasters. Because <laughs> we're the worst. We are those bastards. We're the That's best. us. Right. Worst. Well, thank you, thank you guys for playing, and happy birthday, Jeff. I hope you enjoyed the very... Well, happy birthday, Toker, also. Yeah, happy birthday, this is Toker. the next day. And, and when, when is yours, Bob? Mine is... One week from yours. Okay. So mine is next Monday. Okay. So birthdays all around. I'll try to have some birthday loot in the in the trader hall. <laughs> yay, yay. I'll take some. Bye. I definitely enjoyed it. It's been you know three weeks it's... without playing. I've been going up with with withdrawals. <laughs> then, you, Adelaide. then you almost got murdered. Yeah. Um uh, I, I still had some bit boy, but trust me, I was on the verge of if they hit me one more time, I was going to try to make an escape out of here. Those Happy memories. birthday, Jeff. Make a new character. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which well, would I figured, be a gift I, for yeah. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like this character. <laughs> I just, no, I was like, one more hit, and I got I to gotta see if I can fly out of here, because it's going to at least get one chance to hit me while I'm flying out. <laughs> and then I'd be able to fly out there and like cast a bunch of cures on myself. This is where I cut in in the show and go, and then Jeff talked about combat tactics for the next hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Let, let's call it quits here, and I'll see you guys next Saturday. All right. All right. All right. Hey, y'all. Thank you. Hey, Thanks bye. for coming. This has been a Homebrew Detritus production, Writers of the Lark. Please visit our website for more shows and links to our Patreon. And don't forget to rate us on things you listen to this show with. <laughs>